In this talk, we are going to introduce our work about monocular camera location in LiDAR map using 2D 3D line correspondence. As we know, there are many three sensors being used in urban environment location. TBS, camera, and LiDAR. TBS is lightweight for both the hardware and software, but is unstable due to the uh, building occurrence and uh, even, even there is no signal for indoors. Camera is lightweight and cheap, but the performance of viral odometry is sensitive to light changes and uh, there exists a uh, little drift. And then for LiDAR odometry, SLAM, it's accurate, but uh, LiDAR sensor is very heavy and uh, expensive. For this kind of threat environment, the geometric structure are relative time invariant. So our goal is to directly establish geometric 2D3 correspondence which can be used for accurate localization in LiDAR maps. Uh, the major challenge is, is how to find this kind of 2D3 correspondence of overcome the appearance differences and the modality gap. There are many three kinds of methods to address these challenges. The first one is matching photometry in 2D space. For most of the point calls, we construct using thread for motion. All the 3D points are associated with image features like shift. So the later 2D 3D matching can be treated as feature retrieval. And for the LiDAR points, some method trying to project the LiDAR intensity to generate the synthetic images and the direct match with the ima RGB images. The second one is matching geometry in 3D space for monocular camera by using by using Local bound adjustment, the reconstruct sparse points are directly matching with lighter points. Similar for stereo camera, we can reconstruct the dense points class and matching with lighter maps. The third one is directly matching across 2D and 3D domain. We rely on the extract geometric 2D and 3D point features. We can use a red and a branch bound for global uh, post location, camera location, or using soft process and branch PNP for local. Uh, 2D3 correspondence. Similarly, there are some recently there are some learning based methods try to directly regress camera reports or try to learn across domain descriptor with labeled 2D3 correspondence. In this work, we use the direct 2D3 matching based on the geometric line correspondence. The motion from very inertial geometry is used to predict the camera reports and then directly estimate the 2D3 line correspondence. This is the pipeline of our work to address the correspondence across 2D and 3D domain. Image line features are de detected online, while 3D line features are detected offline. And after giving the post of the first frame in LiDAR maps, we uh, run the very natural geometry to predict the camera pose. And uh, by using the predict the camera pose, the local visible 3 lines in camera field view are detected and di directly match with 2D lines. Finally, the camera pose and the 2D3 correspondence are iteratively optimized by minimizing the projection error. For 2D line detection, we compare the traditional handcraft uh, uh, line detection methods and uh, also the learning based methods. The results of traditional methods are very noisy and uh, the lines are fragmented. And for the learning based method, the results are much better. Here we use the learning based method. The general idea of this method is trying to transfer the line detection to a pixel color, color, coloring problem. For each pixel in the image, we can calculate the attraction vector from this point to the nearest line segments. So the latter work tried to learn two attraction field maps representing the x and the y distance to of each pixel to the nearest line segments. And uh, finally, the squeeze module is used to try to classify the line, the line points. For 3D line detection, we use the segmentation-based methods. The points, 3D points are first clustered into 3D plans, and the 3D plans are projected to 2D uh, space to detect the 2D lines. Finally, the 2D lines are reprojected to 3D space to form the final 3D lines. This step is done offline before the 2D 3D location began, which can be used to handle the large scale point color map. Then for the camera post initialization of the first frame, it's a knapped robot problem, and uh, it's not the focus of our work. 
So we manually label six pairs of 2D, 3D point correspondence and use PMS server to give the post interaction. Then we run a voice model on video synthesis to get the camera motion between each frame. And this motion is used to predict the camera pose for every keyframe. About 2D 3D line matching, because the total numbers of 3D lines are very large and most of them are invisible in local line, in local image. So we extract the visible 3D lines in camera field view by the predict the camera pose. Here, if both two endpoints of a 3D line is in camera field view, we keep all the whole line as a local visible line. And if only one point endpoint is visible, we gradually we gradually sample loop endpoints from the visible points and keep the longest visible straight line. If both two endpoints are invisible, we directly delete this line because most of other invisible lines are in this case. Then for the directed 2D 3D line matching, the visible three lines are projected into image space using the predicted camera pose. And we use brute force matching to calculate the angle distance and the point to line distance. If if the both point if both point distance are smaller than the setting threshold, these pairs are treated as a valid 2D3 correspondence. After get all the 2D3 correspondences, we optimize the camera pose in your setting window because the 2D3 correspondence for a single frame may be limited and there are some derivative cases. So we transfer the former uh, M frame correspondence to the current frame using the current motion. Here in this equation, the delta cosine is a camera motion and the regardless constant cosine is the uh, camera pose of the current frame. So we minimize the projection distance of of 3D line endpoints to the corresponding 2D lines. By using the standard window, it's robust to degenerate cases like limited 2D 3D correspondence or all the 3D lines are parallel. And it can also uh, create a smooth trajectory. Then come to the experiment results. We first uh, test on the URC dataset. For comparison, we compared with the two versions of voice model with or without loop clear. For both methods, they are started from the same transition and orientation. Here we use GPU for the 2D line detection. In terms of the ATE, uh, our method shows much better results compared with with model without the clear, and also it uh, shows compatible results with the loop clear version. However, our master don't use any kind of loop closure, so there isn't any like jump and any kind of post jump. It can uh, realize real time and smooth uh, localization. Then about the relative post error, the accumulated drift of wind model is going up with travelance. Well, the localization without error of our methods keeps very small and stable along the way. Then we test on our own data collected using RealSense camera. The point call map are created using Ferro scanner. We test both for indoors and outdoor environment. For the accuracy evaluation, we pick five frames along the trajectory and use PMP solver to estimate the ground truth on manually labeled 2D 3D point correspondence. For the three data, three, for the three data the accumulated drift of waste model increased a lot along the way, while the, while the localization errors of our methods keep, keeps, keep very small along the whole trajectory. Here, we only shows the localization results compared with waste model. The red image shows the two trajectories in point count map. The two trajectories overlap with each other at the beginning, but separate later. It's hard to judge which one is better, so we project the three lines into the image plan using the estimate pose. The top left image shows the results of the model, and the bottom shows the results of 2D3 line matching.
The green lines are 3D projections, and the red lines are detected tree lines. It's clear that the wind model has a position drift, while our methods give good 2D 3D alignments. Here shows the real time running on the indoor environment. The two trajectories overlap with each other at the beginning, but separately later. The two tra two the three D line projections use with model is shifted from the corresponding three D lines, while our methods give real time two D three D line correspondence. After it runs a while, we can we can clearly observe the odometry drift over the x. And uh, after you return to the start point, we smaller have 0 0.7 meters arrow, but, uh, but our masters have much smaller 0 0.1 meters arrow. Similar for outdoor uh, experiments, we have the same results. We smaller has of a very stripped and the projected three lines are shifted a lot, where our masters give good 2D 3D line alignment. Also, see the uh, pole camera pose of this frame. The camera or position of this model is inside the wall, which is unacceptable. And also, the localization error of this model is much larger than 2D 3D line matching. Here shows the real time running on this data. The two trajectories overlap very well at the beginning, but as time goes by, the trajectory, the drift of this model get larger and larger. We can clearly observe the horizontal drift and the misalignment on the project three lines. While the 2D3 matching gives good post estimation and good correspondence. After it returns to the start point, this model have, has 0 0.6 meters arrow but our method have 0 0.1 meters arrow. Then for the last uh, auto experiment, we have the same results. The localization error of this model is much larger than our methods. For the this data with a lot of repeated structure and uh, occlusions, our methods give still gives good camera localization results and the 2D3 correspondence, while dormitory have has large our community drift when returned to the start point and uh, the localization error of this model is about 2.1 meters but our masses have 0 0.1 meters is much smaller than the dormitory. Lastly, we analyze the 2D 3D correspondence results. The 2D 3D line alignment use our masses is much better than the dormitory and in our framework, the 2D 3D line matching is very efficient since 3D line detection is offline and the 2D line detection is running almost real time. The final 2D 3D localization framework can run at, at 30 to 50 Hertz. This kind of geometric aware matching can overcome the modality gap across 2D and 3D domain and have a lot for camera localization. Lastly, come to the conclusion of this work. We propose a pipeline of real time camera localization in LiDAR map use 2D3 line correspondence. It uh, relatively optimizes 2D3 line correspondence at camera pose use the pose prediction from, from waste model and it can real, uh, run in real time drift free, jump free location in LiDAR maps. This method have, still have some limitations. Firstly, uh, we need a good motion prediction from, from real inertial geometry and uh, we need a structural environment to get the geometric 2D3 line correspondence, so it's not useful for the wild environment. Thank you for listening.